All right, hello and welcome to a live, maybe start to finish build. We're making a very simple, uh, primitive style bowl, but with electric tools, not with like an ads, axes, knives, things like that. We're just gonna be using mostly power tools, I think, for the entire thing. So basically, uh, I'm starting with a chunk of cedar wood that I got from a store. We don't have cedar that grows this big here, so I definitely did not cut this down from the forest or anything. This is probably just from logging or whatever. But anyway, uh, cedar, it's got a really nice look to it, smell to it, and uh, it'll make a good bowl. So. Uh, I'm going to just do this in real time. I probably won't check the comments too much, but maybe I will if I just need to take a break or whatever. But uh, yeah, I haven't done a, a uh, live build in a long time, so let's get started. Safety first. I'm not wearing a respirator, but I am outside. If I feel like the dust is bothering me, then of course I will put one on, but it's hot out here, so I'm going to try not to. I know there's a lot of safety conscious people out there. Uh, just keep in mind that your safety is your own responsibility as mine is mine. If that makes sense. Hopefully you guys are able to see and hopefully we don't have any buffering issues. So I'm starting with a circular saw. This is a fun fact and this is probably a boring caveat. Skill saw. This saw here is, is called a circular saw but it is known as a skill saw, and this actually is a skill saw. You'll see this brand name shortened to skill. That is like their, their lower grade, if you will, tools uh, that are made. But this probably is not the greatest quality either. I probably got this for free in a hoarder house somewhere. But it's got a good blade on it. Let's, uh, let's see how well she does. All right. I didn't want to stop earlier. I don't know how well you can see that. The, the glare, I can't really see what, what shows up. But this is smoking. 
I was going to stop when I started smelling it, but I was like, no, because then I'll have to go get another one and that'll take a bunch of time. Remember when I said this might be a piece of crap? Well, it is. Oh, there, I can see it's showing up now. Um, but it had just enough to finish. Um, so this is going to be garbage after this, which I suspected it to be. I'll probably keep the blade because it's still, still good. But uh, this is probably why I got this from wherever I got it from. I don't remember. A hoarder house or maybe someone was just giving away a bunch of stuff. But uh, yeah, it works for uh, what I'm doing here. So um, this uh, step of the process is basically to create uh, something that I can bash out. I'll show you that next. I should have gotten a, uh, a hammer ready, but I, I, I don't know. I just didn't think of it for whatever reason. So, I'm going to be using a drywall hatchet and a chisel here to uh, kind of smack all the pieces out. Um, oftentimes, maybe it's just loose wires. Well, it, well, maybe. It's definitely hoarder house. At first I heard whorehouse. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh... Can you make something out of the skill set? Well, it's plastic, so no. It's, uh, it, it'll just go in the metal bin. It, it's not gonna go in the garbage, per se. The internals uh, will have some nice metals in there for whoever ends up uh, scrapping it. Okay, so from here, you just kind of smack it to the side. Normally, I would go down this way as well, but we'll see if this works. Hopefully, I did it enough, close enough that I can get most of this out of here. So you can see that now I have a nice void in there. Obviously, this stuff needs to come out still, but uh, that makes short work of that. Of course, there are people who would prefer to do the whole thing without electric tools, but I'm not one of them. So that's our next step. I barely even needed this chisel. So. This one happens to have dry rot in it. That's something that's common in cedar. Uh, it gets dry rot like this. Um, that's okay. We're going to stabilize this later on. Um, I'm totally cool with that. We have lots of good meat to work with here. Um, okay, next, I need to hog this out a little bit more, but I had the depth set on that. Uh, the rest of what I'm going to hog out of here, I'm going to do with the electric rasp. But before that, we're going to do some more crude shaping <coughs> using another saw here. <coughs> okay, let's do it on here. So... Well, I don't think we're going to be able to do it like that. Uh, let's do this instead. That was gonna bind. It did not, which is good. Um, okay. Now this is just crude shaping, so it doesn't. It's not too critical that I get it the same on both sides.
as long as it's close-ish. Let's go to the other side now. Decide to have a little bit bigger. I kind of have an idea with this one, but I don't know if I'm actually going to do it in the end. We'll see. Okay, so, right, you can kind of see what we're doing. And since this one is already nicely rounded here, I don't need to do anything on the two long sides. However, this I'm going to, <clears throat> I'm going to take some, some meat out at an angle. I could probably actually just do it on this rather than on the, uh, on the table saw. Although it might be easier to do it on the table saw. Uh, Let's see here. The thing with this, because it's an uneven piece of wood, I don't really have, like, I'd have to freehand it there, and I feel like it's safer for this to bind than it is for that to bind. It would be best if it didn't bind at all, and I'm going to try to not bind it, but sometimes, sometimes you just can't help it. Okay. Oh, that was, that was good enough. So we got that cut off. Now let's do this other side. Again, this is not necessarily safe and your safety is your own responsibility. Don't do anything that you're seeing me do here, because, again, it's a wonky piece of wood, and it could be, uh, your experience could be a lot different than mine in terms of binding and stuff like that. It didn't bind. But it almost did, I could feel it. So I kinda <laughs> adjusted it a little, just just subtly, and it, and it worked out. So that's what we got. Okay. And then this is what we have for the top. Here I'm hoping to swoop it in, in a, we'll see, we'll see what I do. We'll see what I do, but let's go back outside where it doesn't matter how much dust we make. Shall we? I wish you guys could smell what I could smell because the smell is so good. The only thing is, is that cedar wood uh, is toxic, so should wear a respirator. Okay. I hope you guys can see. I hope it's not... Yeah. This part, this table might be a little rickety for it, but uh, we're going to try our best. By the way, you might be able to tell that I hurt my back yesterday. Uh, you might be able to notice that we got an extra truck here. This is uh, a truck that my brother uh, left here, um, my brother Ken, and there he brought another bed as well that was on top of it, and I tried to move it over and I just, I lift it with my back, which is so silly, uh, but I did and I just tweaked it a little bit. So that was yesterday, that, that kind of hurt. So I still feel it. Uh, Vernon says, hey Josh, I'm loving my chopping block. Thank you so much for making it. Thank you so much for getting it. But the oil in the cedar not affect its use as adobe. So this is, this is adobe. It probably wouldn't. But it's a doughball uh, shape, more so than an actual doughball. Love your shirt, Josh. I was noticing all the trucks. 
Oh, yeah, then we got Landon's uh, Orange Omen. I almost forgot the name. Just like a cat, knock everything onto the floor. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, let's get to it. I may have to put on a respirator with this because this is going to be finer dust, but we'll see. We'll see. Sorry if the sound is annoying. I'm actually going to knock some more of these out here. Because when these pull out these big chunks and, and hit you in the face, it kind of hurts. To get a little bit more out. Okay. Okay, that's probably good. And this, by the way, is just. This is an electric rasp. It's just a wheel with a lot of little pokies on it. And that basically just chews away at the wood and then you can kind of do somewhat delicate shaping with it. And ads would be handy here. Right, I was just saying earlier, this is like, this is like electric tools versus using an ad. Um, I would like to uh, make one. Maybe Jim, I'll make one with you. All right, here we go. No, I just realized I can just bring you guys nice and close so you can see this. My phone may overheat, so if we disappear, it's probably because my phone overheated, but we'll come back in another live once, once we're good to go again, all right? By the way, thanks, uh... Uh, what does it say? Not safe! Eastern red cedar. This species is poisonous and is usually used to make closet interiors. Western juniper poisonous and most commonly used to make fence posts. Uh, also used to make boards all the time. Bowls, I meant, not boards. Um, it's not safe to eat, but whatever. That's what I said earlier, anyway. Okay. Living for the Elton John. Oh, you remember that? Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this here. Oh, by the way, the sale of this comes with a use at your own risk sort of thing as well. Because it is cedar. All right, here we go. through this heavier stuff pretty okay normally I would have cut that part out with the the circular saw as well but it came out it came out okay um, yeah the dry rot here obviously is just like turning into powder as soon as I touch it but I think I think we're good I may have to uh, 
uh, screw this down at some point or uh, clamp it down I mean um, so that it holds while I do this but so far we're good <laughs> Okay, so, so far it's come together quite nicely. Um, let's see, what are you guys saying? Good luck with your move, Suzanne. Oh, Suzanne is moving. Kathleen had a flash flood. Dang. And Jim's dentist is fine? No, wait, Vivian's dentist is fine. You guys have a good conversation going. If you get that bowl, maybe you can put a towel over it or for decoration. Oh. Oh, that's what they're saying about the poison. Yeah, you could use this as like a fruit bowl. I wouldn't use it to prepare food in. That's not what it's meant for. So, yeah, the other person, I forget who, who said it, the safety. But, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the bowl... It's not for preparing food or anything like that. It's just for placing things in. Um, yeah. Just kind of like a, like a ornamental type thing. But you can use it as like a fruit bowl. Uh, I believe. Maybe I should do a little more. Um, okay, I just had this. More reading up on it. Uh, but we have a, we have a fruit bowl that's cedar that we got uh, maybe like eight, nine years ago or something like that from this guy who makes so many bowls and like sculptures out of, uh, out of cedar, yellow, red, and white cedar. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's continue on here.
do have to say, this is way easier than carving out uh, fur. some more dry rot in the middle. This one's going to be uh, stabilized uh, with uh, I think we're going to use I was thinking about just using beeswax uh, to finish it but I'm thinking because of this it's a little worse than I thought it was going to be when I, when I first picked this piece of wood. I think I'm going to use some polyacrylic, which is a food safe finish, uh, and no beeswax, because just because yeah, we're just a little we're just a little too crunchy. could use uh, some resin. I'd have to go uh, mix up a, a bit of this, but maybe I'll do that. So I could do resin. I could... Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I think that will be cool, actually. Which will leave us at a standstill. The outside, you saw that we cut on the miter saw here. I'm gonna just round out those edges a little bit. And then we have like the natural like shape of the tree, right? This one wasn't very big. This is probably, uh, I don't know, probably like maybe a two foot diameter, maybe. Kind of hard to, to guess to me how far this went out, but this, this goes pretty steeply. I don't know. Maybe it was maybe it was much bigger. Maybe this was just a tiny part of it. The cedar trees will grow in big, uh, like clumpy. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Like their rounds are not exactly round. They're like cloud shaped. Okay. Uh, let's Sorry if you're out of view there. Thank <laughs> you. 
but I don't think I'm Oh, my God. 
what we have. Okay, that's what it is so far. Next step, let me bring you in. Watch your head. Let me move you over here. Something like this should do. Okay. Uh, get some uh, resin and some powder, some dye. What should we do? Should we do black or should we just keep it clear? I'm thinking black. Black, I like black. Okay, a few weeks ago Harbor Freight was giving away a free grinder when you spent a certain dollar amount. I should have bought something so I could get the free grinder. Oh yeah! Uh, yeah. Michelle, thank you for the super chat. The laughing bear. Uh, takes so long to finish. Got to do it whittle by whittle. Ah! This bull does have an owner, but it's not Ashley, as someone else asked. Whoever said Zeter is scary to work with hasn't dealt with bamboo. Ah. <laughs> Hilar hilarious, but not that funny. Okay. Let me go grab some uh, resin.
It's the same. Oh, it's right there. Gosh darn it. Oh. Gosh darn it. Do you want those things? No. Give me one second, guys. I just gotta grab a drink. Okay. Okay, so we have some epoxy. Scale. I need a scale so that if I don't make too little or too much. bit too much. That's okay. So one part, so I need to go 150. So that would be 450. 450. 
that over that hole there. Put that over that hole there. holes there. This is totally going to leak. This is totally going to leak. I ripped my teeth off of this stuff. Those of you who use resin are laughing at me right now. That might, that might be good. Okay. Oh, what are you doing with that? Um, I don't know for sure yet. I found it at work. But it sat out in the sun for a long time, so it really wore down, like all the... Yeah. Uh, there's some layers. Um, But it has to be cleaned up. Like I would like to basically just clean it very gently somehow. Oh, with like, oh, like a shape. nylon brush. Yeah. Yeah. I only so have I tiny nylon. Brush. Thing. Just a little bit of water and very gently. It was like a toothbrush. Yeah, a toothbrush. I'm just gonna fill all this. So I'm gonna put black in here. You want black in there or no? No. Are you? Do you need this at all? Not really. This was just kind of a spur of the moment. I I do want to do that with this at some point, but I should probably yeah take some time with it. And it out for a little bit. Uh, the other thing I thought as I was walking back there to get this, what would happen? I don't know. It's just not this. If you uh. It was like the perfect mushroom on there. You just like epoxy the mushroom. Well, we could do that. This is not nice. deep pour though. This is just, this is. I don't know what this is actually for. Float cast. This might just be for. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to use resin. I don't use it that often. It's so freaking expensive. I have a do have a do. I do I do have a few different uh, <laughs> like um, filler things. Like some sparkly one, like some a silver one and uh All right. like I'm not I'm not gonna put sparkly in here. I'm gonna keep this pretty muted, I think. Because like once the wax or sparkly. Well I don't know what to use. Since I'm going to use this here, I may use wax. But I, I just, once it's on there, it's gonna look good. Where's that other one? Lots in time. Which, oh yeah, the double one. Yeah, that I made out of the cedar. Yeah, this literally. Someone stupid. was saying that Gold? cedar is poisonous, which I know like the oil, like if you ingest it, you're not supposed to ingest it, but. Oh, right. 
And like I imagine it wouldn't be good to prepare food in it, but like for like a fruit bowl, mm -hmm. that makes sense, right? Because it's gonna have a barrier on it anyway. Mm -hmm. But I'm just going to do some reading up on it to see if maybe that's. I mean, I don't imagine that's a problem because there's like cedar. Uh, what do you call it? Like salad oh, yeah. tosser, <laughs> whatever those things are called. You know, salad tosser. And uh, we have a cedar like, fruit bowl as well. Hands. Yeah, like the little hands. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not, but I'm gonna do this. Can anyone give me some advice real quick? on what I'm doing correctly versus wrong versus what the heck do I do. We'll add it to the list, Eddie, for when Josh comes to pick up the Josh bug. It sounds like he'll be here a week at this rate. Stop the Canadian profanity. Uh, I have a bucket and shot that I toss interesting bits that I have no use for that Josh can make use of. Oh, the Josh bucket. Hmm. If it is mixed right, it should be crystal clear, but with some bubbles. It is clear. Well, now that it's in this one, it doesn't look as clear because I think the, this one's more translucent. And it does have bubbles. I don't know what the pot time is for this, but uh, I guess we'll figure out if I did it wrong. Pour. It works or it floods. Go for it. Well, okay. I got to put black in it still. I wonder if I should just make it smoky so it's just slightly black. Or should I go all black? <sighs> okay. There's the black stuff there. I know they always say you can't mix too much. <laughs> this is the most boring part of the process. Add your color if you want and it's usually 24 hours. The pot time is 24 hours? What? Really? I don't think so. Oh, you got copper, pewter. Oh, is it blue? Okay. I thought it was like a pewter color. Those are cool. And like ivory. Where'd you get those? Or they came with it or what? No, I got them at uh, Windsor and Red Deer. Oh, okay. Do you want to use one of them? No, I'm going to use black. Right. I appreciate it. I'm going to use black even though... Our good friend Matthew Fox said no black. Um, oh, there it is. This black came from the Potter's house, actually. Okay. So I'm just going to stir this up a bit. If this really has 24 hour pot time, like that's insane. And I could just, I could, I could mix this for 12 hours just to make sure I got it good. Um, it takes a while to hard. Does the container feel warm? Oh, I know that it'll take a while to cure. I'm just wondering about like its usability, its working time. Uh, sometimes this should stay on the box of jugs or Google it. Add some of the sawdust. Oh, that could have been fun too. Clear, smoky, but not black. Okay, let's see. Let's go a little bit more than that. So this will look quite black. 
but when I I don't know how well you can see that, especially since my lens is dusty. It's not all that black. I can't wait till I can get this one sander that I've been saving up for, saving my my pennies for in my piggy bank. This is Merca is the brand. And apparently and I don't know how true this is, I can't wait to try it, but with the the little vacuum thing it comes with, or it, it doesn't come with it, but you can get with it, uh, it's dustless, like as in you can use it without using a respirator. I'm sure they don't advise to do use it without a respirator, but that's what I've been seeing people use it. I'm gonna put a little bit more, a little more smoke. That'll probably be good like that. I don't know how much leftover I'll have, but. Oh, what's up, clam? Say hello to Ashley. She looks like an angel with that, with the light around her. A broccoli, legumes, no. and tomatoes. No thanks. Are you nah, I'm good. No. Thank you though. Hey, Dakota said that he goes to the restaurant there and it doesn't smell like sewer. Really? Yeah. Wait, it was just an off day. He's gone there five times. Does he like it? Yeah. He gets a steak. So we should try it again. I asked Landon if he'd try it. He said sure. So want to go there tomorrow? Alright. We're going to try the sewer restaurant tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I like that amount of smokiness. Hard to, hard to really show you guys, but I like that. Okay. So. Now. Watch me scramble and regret my decision to do this, okay? Here we go. Let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna go just a little bit. Ah, you know what? It's probably not mixed enough. Let me just keep going. Maybe paper towel and rags ready? You know, that's why I like you, uh, Mary Beth. That's a good suggestion. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do this. There, I got it right here on the side, right behind me. Ready to go. My garden is booming already with beans and squash. Dang deer ate my Brussels sprouts. Ah, oh, well that's lucky of you. Because then you would have probably eaten them. And those things are so gross. The deer ate our zucchini. I have one vlog to put out, which is 35 gigs, so... Uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to have to restart it because it's so long. But, uh... Then after that, I have a garden vlog coming up. Okay, here we go. It is not leaking. Okay, but this is a little Oh man, I might have made it too smoky. I should have taken into account that obviously this is not see-through. 
So although it is see-through by itself, it's not see-through in the wood. The I don't use this that often. Sue me. No, don't sue me. I know you would. Okay. I'm probably gonna have to do this in a couple goes because There. Also, I'm just kidding. He wouldn't sue me for anyone else who doesn't get my humor. That was not a very good joke. It was kind of lame, really. But watch. He sues me for slander. By the way, guys. Matthew, if you wouldn't mind putting a link to your YouTube page. Matthew is trying to get to a thousand subscribers. He's a big help to our channel, and so I'd like to be a help to his channel. Uh, go click on over to his channel and uh, give him a follow. Yeah, do I have to just keep doing this until it starts setting up? Yeah, that can go in there. I need like a a faster resin. Or I need a I don't know what the word is. Thicker. More viscous. Now I've used the same stuff with a cutting board and it wasn't leaking while I was putting it in, but it did leak once I left it. I wonder if I could put a piece of tape over this. Of course, the tape is not going to stick to that. Oh, you know what I could do? Let me go grab a paintbrush. Okay, here we go. going to soak in. And when I sand it, maybe it'll be worth it. Probably it won't be, but I have so much here. And this stuff is freaking expensive, so I hate to waste it. But maybe I am wasting it, just in a different way. Torch it to get rid of the bubbles, is that what you're saying? Who said torch? Kevin? I mean, I do see people do that, but like... I wonder if I can 
wonder how necessary that is. Because I've also seen, like, who's that black swan? No, black something furniture guy. He makes such cool furniture pieces. He uses a lot of uh, resin in his builds. Black Forest? No. What the heck is his name? The bald guy. He does narration over all his videos. I watch him every so often. He says that it just looks good on camera to pop him with the torch, but it's not really necessary. But I don't wonder if that's just what the kind he uses, or if that's like the general rule of thumb. I don't know. Okay. Okay, let's get some more in there. Just experimenting here. Happy little resins. Nothing's leaking yet. Okay. I wonder, I wonder what I have over here. these two banana bread boards they're gonna have gold in them but they need well this one well, they need a little bottom section if you will so maybe I'll do a little bit in each one of these this one That. That's why it was weird. I was wondering how that happened. But What happened? Oh, I see, said the blind man. Because I took that out to plane this. I was like, why doesn't that fit? But it does fit. It just fits higher up. Okay, so I need that to glue to that. So let's go like this. Uh, no, first, let's go like...
tape. So let's make sure that this works. Oh, that's going to stain it. Ah, that's okay. That's okay. Stain all of it, and then it won't matter. It'll look good. I hope. I hope it'll look good. He says, with his fingers crossed. Oh, this is pretty smoky. I wish I had some of that gold to put in here right now. So, this stuff actually has a decent pot time. It probably is like eight hours or something crazy like that. I don't know. But I probably, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out. Uh, oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I'm going to come out to the shop and I'm going to... Uh, Okay, I'm probably going to do clear on top of this, so I'm all over the place with my, what I'm talking about here. There we go. Okay, I'm probably going to come out and uh, play around with this off camera. But um, whenever it's dry, maybe in a couple days or whatever, unless I screwed it up, uh, I will finish this bowl on camera with you guys. So you can kind of see the whole process that it takes to make, well, I guess individually. Come on, sorry this tripod's freaking broken. Individually, they're all different, so they all take different amounts of uh, different types of effort, too. Um, does that gunk up planter knives? Uh, so far, I have not seen that it does. I'll show you something that me and uh, Landon were experimenting with here. So, we took oh, a bunch of planer shavings and made this blank with this same resin, okay? Then we took it and put it between two pieces of oak here and put that through the planer and it was fine. And it's been months. Wow, that actually holds up because this is essentially plastic. I just wanted to see what it would look like. Where's my water at? Let me grab some water so you can see what this will look like with some oil on it. This this is just an experiment, so this likely will never be anything, but we'll see. You know what? Let me clean this off here. Ah, that's a little better. Ah, that's a little better. Or you guys don't look like you're... I don't look like you guys are looking through a dusty shop window. <laughs> okay, let me grab some water. Okay, here we go, here we go. Keep in mind, 
understand that this is uh, this is not sanded or anything. Not that that would necessarily come off on camera anyway. But uh, let me show you kind of what we're at, okay? And this is just plain oak. Oak is pretty boring for the most part, but so that's without, and then this is with. So you can kind of see what it would look like. And that would just be a random accent piece. I don't know exactly where we're gonna use this application, but we may or may not even use it, I don't know. Uh, but it's kind of cool, because there's like wood chips in there and stuff. So we'll see. I may even just make it for like something else that has nothing to do with cutting boards or banana bread boards or anything. It could just be for like, I don't know, in trim or something, because I still have to do all the trim in my house. I don't know if I would use that. That kind of looks like uh, like a bird, uh, I don't know what it's called, but like the bird food, that's that's like a clump. It's usually in different shapes, like in the shape of bells or stars or something. Chip off the old block. I kill me again, he says. Wait, you're not Glenn. Charlie's making the same jokes as Glenn. Looks like an eat more bar. Oh, kind of does. That's not I love eat mores. Neat how the orange omen is framed in the door. Was it better before? She made clothes for me when I was younger. I remember she made a complete set of summer shirts and shorts for me. LOL. Her custom design and everything. Your mom or someone? Your grandma? I like the look of that experimental board with a resin in it. Well... If you like it, email me. Wait, who said that? Justine. You have to email me, say you're Justine. I'll I'll send it to you. Just give me your mailing address. I'll finish it first. But I'll give this to you. You can have it. I just needs to sand. I just needs to sand. Why did I say that like that? I just needs to sand it. <laughs> And then it should be good to go. Okay, it's still not leaking through, but... Yeah. At some point, this is going to start setting up. This, this stuff in the, in the jar here. And when that happens, I, there should be some time where I can put it into these upper cracks. And it shouldn't run. And that's kind of what I'm waiting for. So I'll probably bring it inside so I can keep an eye on it. Because we're going to be uh, watching a movie here right away, me, Landon, and Ashley. And at the critical point, I'm going to come back out here and uh, and give it a, give it a, my best effort. I won't, I'm not going to do that on camera, just it's going to look the same as what we're already doing, right? Just, you get it, you get it. By the way, did Matthew, did you put up your link yet? I didn't check. I didn't check to see. Okay, at some point. I could just fill this whole thing up and then rehog it out. That would be a waste of resin, but I mean, I could do it. I'm hoping that I'll be able to sand it out because obviously I want it to have that primitive look, so I'm not going to sand it perfectly smooth. It's part of the, uh, the, the um, what do you call it, the aesthetic to have the tool marks in there. But since this is like essentially plastic, that might look stupid. I don't know. I don't. We'll see. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for now. I will live again when uh, we are closer to, uh, well, when it's cured. I will become live again. All right. So thanks for hanging out for the time making this uh 
I hope it was interesting to you guys. Uh, only one way to find out if it works or looks stupid. Yeah, absolutely correct, Jim. And Matthew did share his link. All right. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, everyone else. See you guys later. Oh, that actually worked that time. My phone is broken, so I thought pressing the X wasn't going to work. And now I'm just giving you this long explanation for no reason. Okay, see ya.